You're gay now. Yeah. While, I, while I'm painting you, right, I've noticed. Has anyone ever said you look like Cole Palmer a bit? No, no one's actually no one's ever said, said that. No, no one said that. Maybe I've just done the painting wrong because the painting. Okay, don't worry. We'll, you'll see. <laughs> okay. 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 So you're TikTok famous, <laughs> like, like super TikTok famous. If you want to put it like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. But what's funny is probably only in Britain, right? Yeah. Like it's funny because I got followers maybe like in. Uh, I got Brazilian followers and a f lots of American followers and like German. They wouldn't know. They might be confused by if they seen your TikToks. They'd be like, "What is going? Yeah, why? They'd be, they'd be literally why do British people love this guy? <laughs> you know." So anyway, what is it? Well, how many followers? You, well, you are one account with half a million. Yeah, and then another account I seen with four hundred thousand or three hundred thousand. Yeah, it's close to four hundred k. My lives account, yeah. What's that all about? Why do you have multiple? Oh, it's just you, lives account. Yeah, so it keeps getting banned or something. Yeah, so I have like oh. a separate one, then I have a backup for each as well. Yeah, fair enough. Nice. I like what I, I think. No, it's clever. Now I've talked to you, I'm like, oh, you're clever. It's very clever what you're doing. <laughs> Damn. But I feel like, don't you, like I said, don't you worry that you're giving away the, I don't know, by doing these interviews. I don't know. You might be giving no, away pe pe I think people have caught on now, but they're still enjoy it because people who come on my lives come up with different creative ideas and obviously I'll play along with it, add a little twist on it sometimes and sometimes I don't even know I'm doing it, it just comes. Yeah, yeah. In my head something happens and then people click on and then it just carries on and carries yeah, yeah. on. Okay, uh, this thing by the way, I haven't got a name for it yet but I'm thinking of calling it um, Rory Paints Dates. Yeah. Kind of like coffee shop, no, the, no what's it called? Chicken shop dates. Oh yeah. You know, so we're on a date now Luke, okay? Okay. So I'm going to ask you my classic date questions. Okay. Um, if you went to Greg's, what would you get? I just, I like to get a bottle of Coke and a sausage roll. Yeah. Sometimes a steak bake. Oh, if, okay, steak, okay. Yeah, go on. So that's it. What about breakfast? Do you have the breakfast roll? I've had the um, bacon. Uh, bacon roll. roll. Yeah. Or I've baguette. Had but I don't, I'm not really a big fan. No? I've had it a few times and it just doesn't, I don't yeah. know. What do I they don't have? really like Because you live up in w Dudley. Dudley, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dudley. So you're basically like a Peaky Blinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. down the road from me is the Black Country Museum and the film there for the Peaky Blinds and that was literally like two minutes up the road from yeah. me. Yeah. Did they ever try casting you in it? No, no. They no. should though. It'd be, it'd be Especially now that um, the one guy, guy's a crackhead now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could just replace Arthur. Yeah. That would be great, actually. Yeah, that'd be funny. That yeah, they should put a petition up. <laughs> okay, karaoke song. Um, I like Sweet Caroline. It's a good one. So a good one. I, I like. Um, um, do you like the Mulan soundtrack? I probably won't know if I hear it. Possibly. I'll make a man out of you from the Mulan soundtrack is my go-to, or like some Creed. Yeah. Uh, anyway, okay, yeah. If you could, okay, this is like a classic day question. Uh, if you could have a super about superpower, what would it be and why? To fly, yeah. probably, just because you can, just if you want to go to, I don't know, America or something, yeah. one day just you can just fly there. take off and explore the world. I mean, you could as well, but it just costs money on flights. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but yeah, I get it, fly is cool. Yeah. Flying is cool. What would I do? I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Immortality, which is a weird one. What does that mean about me? I don't know. <laughs> I, I was thinking, okay, the other question that people always ask on like dates and stuff is uh, if a, it, which actor would play you in a film about your life? That's like a... Ooh. What am I in, like, Dwight the Rock Johnson? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed too much. But you, you think Dwayne would do a good you? I reckon A 50-year-old Dwayne the Rock Johnson playing a... How old are you now? 21. 21-year-old, yeah, it could work. I mean, that would be good. Yeah, think, if yeah. it's funny. I can have it funny. Yeah. I was like, maybe like, like a Timothy Chamolet. Oh yeah. You think could play you? Just Possibly. dye his hair red <laughs> potentially. Although I think he's gonna have a glow down now he's getting older. Yeah. You know what I mean? Will. Yeah. You can't stay like as the young. No, as you get older. The well, wrinkles start. Have you seen coming. June too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've it's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, okay. So do you like being TikTok famous? Um, 
I don't mind it as long as people are respectful. You get the odd idiot sometimes and that. Yeah. Um, but as long as people are respectful. But um, a lot of people always ask me, like, how do you deal with it? And you've got to, like, I didn't plan to do it. It just happened during lockdown, if you know what I mean. I never yeah. grew up wanting to do social media, if you know what I mean. It, yeah. it just, I was bored in lockdown and it just happened. It's hard to explain it. How did this start? I'm just going to check the cameras while you're No, it's all good. How did this start? Um, it just went from, like, I was in my kitchen. Um, just like doing little videos um, during lockdown and that, doing little dance videos, stuff like that. Um, and then I used to do my lives. Yeah. Um, so I used to just go in there, just have general chats with people. And then someone asked me the once, what would you do if Kante was in your fridge? Um, was that the start of it? Yeah. The Kante? The right. Kante in my fridge one. Um, and then I just, I don't know where it come from. It just come to my head. I went, uh, Kante, what are you doing in my fridge? Stop doing that thing, get out. And then they get out like catchphrases, if you want to put it like. It just went from there and people started picking up on it. And then people started using it. I had actually Chelsea use the Kante thing and put Kante in the video and everything. I've had loads of Premier League clubs use it. Um, BT Sports have used it on there, same before on TikTok. Um, footballers have um, like reacted to me and everything. And it, it just went from there really. And then I built on from there and that. It was just from that one video. Nice. Um, I remember I, I did it and then overnight it went, got like 400k views just overnight and I was like, whoa, what's this? Yeah, yeah. And then I just thought, hang on a minute, could something happen from here? So I thought, I'd do a few, people started asking me, you had the Q&A feature. Yeah, yeah. Um, and people started asking me, what would you do if like, I don't know, Ronaldo was in your toaster, what would you do? <laughs> like silly things like that. And I, I just yeah. thought, I'll see what happens. And then the videos were in like five, six, seven hundred k something in a million. And I'm like, maybe this could be something here. Yeah. And then it just went from there. Wild. It's wild how your life can change from one silly video. Yeah, like. it's crazy. Literally overnight. Yeah. I seen you did the boxing fight thing. Yeah, yeah. Which was, I remember, I remember when, it, when it was announced. Well, your, 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 the first one. You did two, right? No. No, well, just the one. Yeah, so the one. I was meant to fight Ginty, but um, because the white difference was too much, I fought Dean Lem in the end. Yeah, because he was massive. Yeah. He was like yeah, double yeah. your size. Yeah, yeah. But fair play. That was brave for you. Though. Yeah, like... I've never boxed before. That was yeah, my yeah. first. Did um, you do lots of training for it? Uh, I did some training and that, but obviously I had other bits and bobs going on as well. So just trying to fit it all in. Um, but I thought, you know, the opportunities come up and I'm one of them. Any opportunity I'm willing to take because it could lead to different paths. Nice. Um, nice. But my first fight was the, the Indigo and the O2 in front of 4,000 people who were in attendance, plus thousands watching on live stream. Um, it was a bit nervous, but yeah. when I was in there and that, um, it was all good and that. And, what helped me as well was when my walk out and that had a, quite a good reaction as well and that like fired me up a bit more as well. What was your walkout song? Um, Turn on the lights, so the player of Wolves. Oh, right, I see. Um, oh, yeah, Maybe in a Wolves fan. Big Wolves fan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of, right, okay. So this is going to be strange, but like, like when I said I started as a, a TikTok artist, painting random British TikTokers was my thing. And I have painted you, and you probably didn't know, but I painted you maybe three times, maybe in total. So I'll show you one of them. Okay. Um, let me just, so this is a drawing painting. This is more of like a felt tip one. Um, so this is you as a, as a, um, <laughs> as a. Is that a lightsaber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good that is, I yeah. like that. They, I think the, you were fighting Cal the Dragon in another one, but I've actually, I lose a lot of my artwork. <laughs> so it's you fighting Cal the Dragon. Uh, so that was one of them. Um, and then the new June movie. I, I kind of did June inspired, this one. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's not bad, is it? It's that's good that is. I'd... You like that? Yeah, literally. So there's wolf, a though. second part, so it just keeps going. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, with the long walls coat or the, yeah, sleep, yeah, yeah, yeah. the sleeping bag. I was going to do it. another one. So it was going to be like this <laughs> long, the sleeping bag coat. But that was good. So yeah, I've uh, been inspired by you in the past, basically. And you were added to my wall. I have like a wall of British heroes. Oh yeah. You're on it. You're oh, on it. Yeah. I'm on it. I know. There we go. So that's weird that I've painted you many times, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a strange person like that. <laughs> uh, okay. On that note, moving forward. So speaking of strange people like me, you've had some people come to your house. Do they still do it or are you still? Um, I mean, I still have the odd little thing and that, but it's yeah. died down. It was like really bad at the end of last year. Yeah. Like people were sending fire engines, ambulance crew to my house <laughs> and that. It I was... mean, I'm laughing because it is funny, 
but it's not funny yeah. when it's you, I guess, you know? Yeah, like, the takeaway thing, if you know what I mean, like, people, you know, you yeah. prank each, you know, you prank your mates sometimes, stuff like that. Yeah. But when it's wasting emergency services time, that's just taking it too far. That is pretty... Uh, um, and some of the things they were saying, um, I don't know if I can say on here at all. You can say whatever you want, um, I'll cut but, it out. But um, people were saying that I was and wrists oh right um, that i was going to set my family on fire and everything it was going and like how sick can people be in the head to say stuff like that yeah and like I, sometimes i was even out and i've had my mom phone me or my dad and the ambulance crew phoning me they'll obviously come to they've got to respond to anything they've said if you know what i mean they phone me make sure i'm okay and i'm like yeah i'm literally in an uber yeah i'm not <laughs> if you know what i mean um because people have said i'm sick my wrist even though i'm not but it's just, I don't know what goes through people's minds to say things like that, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, it is, I don't know. It baffles me. I feel like it's a really British thing. Like yeah, it, yeah. it wouldn't happen in, I suppose they have a swatting thing in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is probably even more scary. Yeah, they're I coming. Mean, I wouldn't want that, you know. <laughs> no, they're coming Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. How do you handle, like, any, If because I suppose, they're probably having a laugh, but like, you you might get haters. Do you, well, how do you handle the haters? Yeah, I mean, I can take it online if you know what I mean. Um, I've learned to deal with that. But when it's at your doorstep, it's a different level sometimes, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah. But you just um, ignore like the yeah, messages? Or, or the yeah, well, comments. Like, like the comments, you, you're going to get it. I'll say this to anyone who does social media. If you yeah. can't handle hate, don't bother doing it because you're going to get it at some point. You're going to get haters out there. Ah, it's, yeah. it's the truth. Like, I think a lot of people are taking the piss out of you with your ro asking for roses kind of thing. Oh, when I went, for that, that was a little phase I went through last yeah. year when I did like a different type of life when I used to go chase the roses there, chase <laughs> the footy pairs there. But people like created edits, I had like songs created about me. It, it was, worked. That's, yeah. that's actually, kind of, yeah, okay, fair play. And again, that was something what just come to my mind as like all this none of it's planned it just happens yeah you're it's super weird. consistent with it 10 30 pretty much yeah right every pretty much every day Mo Monday yeah, to Friday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah do you ever get tired of doing it some sometimes i can't like be. i don't want to do it um sometimes i can be but then i'm thinking like let's just you know let's do it it's an hour if you know what i mean people get entertainment out of it i'll get a little bit of cash on the side as well so and yeah how much money do you make it, it varies yeah, it but varies. it's enough to make it worth it every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've probably been the last year and a half I've been doing this full time now. And it's just roses and shit like that it makes enough money for you. Um, sometimes, obviously, I get like, I've created like a little, recently, I've created like a little uh, galaxy dance. So people send me a galaxy and I have like a little galaxy dance. I have, How much is a galaxy then? I think it costs like a tenner. Damn, okay. Because I don't do lives. I did lives once, but then I was scared because... I got a bit drunk, basically. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to get my account completely back. <laughs> like, so that's probably why I should probably create a live account. Yeah, create separate. a separate one from yeah. your mind one. Because yeah. Especially because the comments were getting a bit, like, weird. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get this account banned. And I don't want to lose my main account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a good shout. Maybe I will do lives. I did a live painting of Erling Haaland once. But again, I got too drunk. It was the same. <laughs> um, but I feel like drinking makes... Anyway, I, if I was you, I'd be drinking every day. Because I need to drink, I think, and for the live otherwise i'm awkward i can't explain yeah I, I, I get what you mean i just i don't know i just like as soon as 10 30 it's right i put my character on then yeah it's like your it's like your job it's kind of cool i like yeah. i like it though so let's i don't, I don't want to ask for numbers but you earn enough for it to be worth it every night like yeah 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 and you don't have to get a real job if you had a real job what would you get what would you be doing um that? so growing up i was always into football and when I was about 14, I took off. You weren't going to be a professional footballer. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I took off. With footballers. Yeah, and then um, I took on football coach when I was 14. Yeah. Um, and what then, level are you? Um, I got my level two. Nice. Um, and I was at uni doing a football coaching degree, but then it was trying to balance social media with uni. And I took a risk. I dropped out of uni to focus on social media more, and it's paid off. What were you studying? Uh, football coaching uh, oh, right. degree. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, at Wolverhampton Uni. Um, I did a bit of work in Walsall Academy mm. as well. Um, I've, when I was 16 years old, I took on my own under 12s team as manager, mm. as like a young coach. Uh, what was a big thing because a lot of the other coaches were a lot older and they had a lot more experience, but I took over for the team and turned them around. Um, so I'm guessing your dream job would be like football manager of Wolves? Yeah, yeah, that would, that would, yeah. That's you'd be, what you'd be always, okay with that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might happen. You never know. You never know. You if never the TikTok know. keeps going, <laughs> I, I mean, you never know. I mean, you're still doing it on the side now. Uh, not anymore, no. It was just too much. You'd get harassed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
if you like, yeah, I can imagine people turning up to your games just to harass. Well, when you. when I was um, when I was coaching um, one of the twelves team and that, I was starting to become a bit popular on social media and like. All the other kids in the other teams were constantly coming over to me, asking for pictures and everything. Mm. And it's like I'm trying to coach my team here as well at the same time. Mm. It was like, um, but in the end, the club stabbed me in the back over my social media. What do you mean? Um, so, Is this okay to go out, by the way? Yeah, I don't care yeah. about them, to be honest. Um, stabbed you in the back? Yeah, they stabbed me in the back. So I'll say the team name on here. They can say what they want. I don't care. Skyforce, um, FC. You can Google them if you want. Um, so, they had a, um, so my assistant manager had a plumbing business. Um, and I did a TikTok, the ones with the Skyforce thing on. Mm -hmm. um, and it, if anything, it's advertising his business. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he kicked off about it and went to the chairman. And the tries go to the FA um, about me. And then they basically stabbed me in the back and everything and said they didn't want me, if you know what I mean. So I, I just left because I thought I don't want to be in a hostile environment, if you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time anymore. But I put a lot of effort into that club. like the planning in the week of training sessions, doing yeah. training. I was at college at the time as well, so I was going to college, doing my coursework, coaching um, a few times a week, matches on like Sunday morning sometimes, like half past nine in the morning, getting up, making sure the equipment's there and that. Um, and then they just stabbed me in the back over that. And if anything, I was promoting his business, that's a bit petty in my yeah. opinion. It could have helped like yeah. bring numbers to some seats. Yeah. But yeah. It's a yeah. shame, it's a shame. So like saying that then, where do you see the future? Like, for you, you can't do this forever, right? Do you think? It, it depends. You'll like, end up like that simple Simon guy, 50 years old, still going. I mean, I haven't seen, it, I haven't seen him for a few months. Um, yeah. I know he took a little bit of a break. Um, yeah. But like, I'm like, I've done a bit of YouTube in the past. I'm moving more over to YouTube now. That's yeah. where... What was it, if, three guys and beers? Or I was something? part of three blokes and beers, yeah. yeah. Um, but again... They stabbed me in the back as well. And oh my goodness. I left there, but I'm part of um, working on another lot of YouTube group now um, called The Hustle House. Um, we've done some bits last year. We're actually working together more on stuff and we've got some big plans. Were you there the recently, right? This week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was in Crawley uh, last week, did some filming. Um, what, the what is that? It seems weird. I've I only seen clips of it, but it's like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, yeah. What is it? it? I don't know. What, um, how do you describe so it? So it, it started was like working on this. It was like last year. Um, it was a company, well, a music production called um, Black Current. They uh, had a song um, and they picked three of us to do it. It was like near Brighton Way. Mm. Um, we did like music video shoots and um, other little bits and bobs videos and it did pretty well. Um, and then we've returned this year. Um, we worked on a, another song, what was aimed at like Angry Ginge, Bevo, um, Italian Batch, I don't know if you've heard of him before. I never heard of him, to be honest myself, until no. last week. No. Um, but we filmed with this, um, he's like a bodybuilder. Right. He's like a small, like a I think small... I've seen him. But I yeah, yeah, I think he's on Ninja Warrior. Um, oh, it's okay. the first time I met him. Um, mm. But we did like a day shoot last week, a filming and that. And to be honest, the views have done pretty well from that, just that one day yeah, yeah. from the content and that. Um, it's hard, isn't it? I'm... Well, I haven't done it yet, but I'm looking to switch to YouTube. And I yeah. know it's really hard to get someone from one platform to another. Yeah, yeah Like, yeah. almost impossible. Yeah. Like, I, like, I tried to get people to go to my Twitter. Just I don't even care about Twitter. But I, just yeah. thought, I, I just want my numbers up. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one bothered. No one even no. cared. So it's kind it's, of, it's a tricky It thing. is hard, if you know what I mean. But yeah. if you've got a decent following on one platform, you, you have an advantage over someone who's starting fresh, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Hmm. Um... Hmm. I don't know where to go here. Okay. Let's go deep. Okay. I recently had a health scare, right? Where I actually, in January, I actually at one point thought I was going to die, which is kind of strange, kind of oh, heavy, kind of heavy. Uh, but it makes you think when you're like, oh, I could die or whatever. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It makes you think, um, do you believe in God? I'm not really a religious person. I've never really been. I believe there's something out there after life, but I don't know. I've never really been. The way I look at it, if there was a God up there, there wouldn't be all this stuff happening in the world. That's my opinion, if you know what I mean. So what do you think happens when we die? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if we come back. We might come back as something else, a spirit, I don't know. 
you haven't but I believe there is it. something. But you don't believe in like organized religions like Christianity? No, 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 I don't. And there's nothing against, if you know yeah. what I mean. People you're a bit of a do. religious figure. <laughs> I don't know, kind of. No, I've no. never. <laughs> I'm joking. No. Nah. <laughs> but no, I've just. That's what I mean. I just. The way I look at it, if you know, people. I don't know if people take that. I don't know if you know. It's just my opinion. So, what do you think the meaning of life is? I don't know. Um, I suppose you put on this planet and you have different obstacles you've got to overcome and that might determine what happens when you die, I don't know. Mm. It's, a, it's an interesting topic really, isn't it? Yeah. Because do you ever like think like, oh, you're doing all this TikTok stuff, you're just, you're looking for constant growth. But do you ever like think like, what's the point? Maybe? I don't know. No. Like, I was talking to an OnlyFans girl and she's just constant growth. So she's just money, 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 money. And it's just gonna, the money's just gonna pile up, right? Eventually. Eventually, like, okay, you've got all the money in the world. That, now what, you know? I don't know. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. A lot of people say that, don't they? Um, you know, it's about staying humble as well. So I've always been- Are your parents great. religious? No, 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 no. So like, like, if you like were a, to ask your parents, what's the meaning of life? What do you think they would say? I don't really know. Um, Probably just live each day as it comes and just, I don't know. Yeah, I suppose it's one of those questions that's so difficult that maybe you should just, it's not worth even at, it just kind of just, yeah, keep it in the back of your mind maybe. Yeah. It is like, it's, it I is. think when you have kids, like, I don't know if you plan on having kids one day potentially. I, I don't know, possibly. Like if I was to have kids, like I feel like all these questions you just forget about. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> You've got like this little thing you have to keep alive. So what's the point in worrying about anything else? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you mean. But I don't have kids. So then I've got this trouble in the back of my mind saying I'm going to die one day. And what's the point in it all? Anyway. Yeah. So that's fun. So how do you think we got here? What, as in? Like, yeah, I suppose you don't. Yeah. Do you think like Big Bang and that's it kind of thing? Or I mean, a bit of a... Possibly, or an asteroid might have pushed like Earth. I don't, I don't know. It's yeah. It's a it's a tough one, isn't it? Because obviously you see all these scientists do all this research and that, but no one actually fully knows because the people who were first here are dead. You mm. know what I mean? So it's we're, no one. We're relying on like Chinese whispers. Yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like that. If you know what I mean. Enough, you know, there's, they can find evidence, all this stuff and that, but nothing can be a thousand percent certain, if that makes sense, because mm -hmm. none of us were there during that time. Hopefully we find out when we die. What about like psychedelics? Have you ever taken like mushrooms, acid, DMT? No. It's like I, a cool thing to do these days, the DMT. I know, I've, I've seen people do, but I don't do yeah. any of that stuff. Don't that. try, ex don't think about exploring the, the, your penile glands and your op like opening your third eye. No, I mean, people, people have said it to me a few times, but like, I've never. Yeah. Done Fair that enough. Before, really. No, you don't listen to Joe Rogan then. No. <laughs> well, yeah. Basically, I've run out of questions, but I'm going to keep going. Because I'm thinking deep at the moment. I'm, having, I'm in a bit of a deep phase where I'm not sure what's the point in everything. But anyway, you're gay now. Yeah. Which is like. Whew. How do we talk about this without like being like, you, are you okay to talk about this? Yeah, I'm happy to, like, this is probably the first open thing I've been on to talk about, if you know what I mean, yeah. but I'm happy to. So coming out as gay, but also being kind of the most bullied person on TikTok at the same time, you already, like you already probably kind of bullied, but in a, you're both in on it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then you come out as gay. That's wild. Also, by the way, that was the biggest curveball ever. I didn't know, I don't think anyone's seen that coming no. whatsoever. Like, I remember I first, when I first seen it, HS TikTok, he was in his car and he went, he said it, like, I was like, wait, this can't be true. And then it was like, that's crazy. But yeah, I don't know, how was it coming out? How, when did you know you were gay? Probably when I was in school. Um, so you, you've known all this time. So you, do you feel like you were hiding it for a long yeah, time? Yeah, I felt like it's just, you know, it's, 
it's hard, if you know what I mean, to actually come out and when the fact I've got a big following on social media as well. Yeah. I've always said I, will, I would always do it if I found the right person and unfortunately that didn't work out in the end because we unfortunately broke up. Yeah. The end of last year and that but, but I feel like everyone breaks up with their first kind yeah, of yeah, thing, yeah. you know. Well it was like I wanted to find the right time, if you know what I mean. I felt last summer was the right time. Um and you know, it's like a weight lifted off your shoulder as well, but at the yeah. same time. Did you like your friends and family kind of know? Or were you hiding it from everyone? No, no one knew. Um no. my mom kind of after I told her, if you know what I mean, she kind of knew in a way She's a little seen bit. The signs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but no one knew now. It's crazy. I couldn't imagine. It is like, I know people, it's such a cliche to say, oh, it's such a brave thing to come out. But it, it kind of is in your case. Especially because you kind of have this football image a little bit yeah, yeah. of like, especially with that YouTube channel with the, was it three? Three blokes in yeah. days, yeah. So it was like, lads, 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 we're drinking. You were drinking with like, uh, Mashtag Brady and yeah, all these lot. And and like, ooh, 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 lads. So it's kind of like crazy just to be like, oh, actually, I was kind of gay the whole time. Damn. I don't know. I'm not much. I don't know much about all, all the that. I guess. I don't know what to say. Is there anything else to say about that? I guess. I don't know. How are you finding it now, being a, a gay TikTok celebrity? Um, there's pos there's good and bad sides. If you know what I mean. Like I've had a few nice messages. Because you can find users. People are gonna try and use you, right? Yeah, you you have to be careful. Like with anyone, you know, whether you're gay, straight, whatever. If you know what I mean. If you've got a social media platform. People will try, you know, you've got to be extra careful in relationships because yeah. people might try and use you for the followers you've got, the money you've got, if you know what I mean, and mm. then might just, you know. Um, I'm, I'm lucky because no, like, no one really knows me. They only know my paintings. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But no, yeah, I see what you mean. Like, like, let's say someone wanted extra followers. They're like, oh, they might cozy up to you and try. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as soon as I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do. You have, to, you have to be extra careful, and I, I'm always extra careful. If you know what I mean, like my past relationship, you know, we were, it was it went well. If you know what I mean, it just didn't work out in the end, and it's 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 one of them. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, I completely understand. Hmm. Have you ever painted before? Um. Are you any good at painting? Not really. No. no, I've only done it when I was did art in school. Really, that was. Yeah. I've never really... Because I thought about this, doing this in a different way where we would paint each other at the same time. Uh, but we tested it and it didn't work out so well. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Uh, if, what's coming up for you? Do you so you've got the, the, the house thing, which sounds weird already. Because they're raising money for autism at the same time, right? Yeah, so Ryan... What's his uh, name, the main guy, Ryan? Uh, Ryan, yeah, so he... It does that separately. It's got nothing oh, to see. do with the house. The yeah, yeah house. that's just yeah. separate what he does and that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get on with everyone in the hustle house? Yeah, yeah. I've always, I've always got on with them. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, you know, they, you know, I've always been there to help them in their struggles. They've been there to help me. If you know what I mean. We've always got on now, and you know, we've always, yeah. Hmm. Who don't you get on with? <laughs> there's a plan actually it's, I suppose there's a long list now it is becoming yeah there's a few oh, okay. yeah. it feels like there's a lot of um, like I said users and cutthroats within the TikTok yeah there's thing. a lot of um, stab backers and people are trying to use you yeah um, in the tick you know there's a lot of I've learned that over oh. this past year really from yeah. certain TikTokers and that um, I thought they were mates but they clearly weren't yeah kind of sucks Makes you wonder, like, because, like, I've had people interested in collaborating with me on certain things, and it's like, well, do I want to open myself up to that kind of thing? With this, it's like me and you are doing this now, and then we'll never, we'll probably, we might see each other again yeah. another time, maybe, who knows? But in general, it's like, that's it kind of thing. But yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if you could, like, collaborate with anyone, I don't know, who would you collaborate? Like, celeb well, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I guess you, you said. Yeah, yeah, you I want mean, him no. to play you in a, yeah, a movie yeah, about your life. Yeah, I wouldn't mind him. Um, yeah. Maybe all the Sidemen members, so obviously I've been on... Oh, you were a fan of them from growing up as yeah, well? Yeah, and when yeah, I got yeah. asked to go on the What's Good podcast with like Randolph Miniman too, it was like, mm. whoa, I've grew up like, watching these people. Yeah, that's crazy. And it was like... A, I never got it. I think I was just a bit too old to even understand yeah, what yeah, that yeah. was. Like, but yeah, yeah. But like to do something with all of them, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. 
would you uh, like? Would you like? What's it like? The soccer Sunday sort of TV programs and stuff like that with uh, Crouchy and what's that? What's that? I don't watch much TV. Oh, so. um, would you? Go on I, I, I know you're on a bit. I yeah, forgot yeah. then. I, yeah, like even stuff. You're like good that. at football, by the way. Yeah, I'm all right at football. I'm decent at football. Yeah. Did you play a celebrity match of football? Um, I played in a few charity lines. But not the, the the big ones. No, no, no. Um, I've played at um, Goals for Goals. Probably the big stadium played at Southhurst Park, oh, so right. Crystal Palace. Um, mm. I played in a few of a lot. What do they call it, the big games with KSI and all them? Um, you've the got the Sidemen charity game. Yeah, yeah. You want to get on that? I'd love this to. This is, I mean, ask, say the camera now, I want to be on I'd that. love to. I mean, Caledra. <laughs> what can, position do you play? Me, so I can play like anywhere on the right, really. Yeah. So like right back, right wing. That's right a tough one because everyone's right footed. So yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I can also play in goal. Oh. Well, it's a bit, people think... You can't like, be worse than Cal the Dragon, so, I mean... <laughs> you know. I mean, like, I mean, Cal the Dragon got in the Sidemen charity game a couple of years ago. Yeah. Angry Ginger was in it last year, so... He's I'm good. Hoping. Yeah, I've, I've met... I've met um, I actually, well, I asked about that. He's I've met him a few player. times. He's so... Also, new, the guy's like, a beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, what is he, 6'2", yeah, 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 big? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Because I remember I went up to Liverpool to do a podcast in Liverpool, and they had a beef with him but it was like just a joking yeah thing. I love that. yeah and i was yeah, like yeah. he could kill you both like I think. he's <laughs> like a, a ginger he is an angry ginger. yeah yeah he is literally yeah did, what did you do with him um so i played in a few like charity games with him before and that oh, yeah. uh, and a few previous ones and that um but yeah he's sound he's yeah. he's sound to be honest nice he's so big now i don't get it yeah, yeah. like i still don't get it like i don't watch twitch streamers and stuff like yeah, that. yeah yeah so i'm like I don't know why, he's like huge, like huge, huge. Yeah, but he is, just... and he does like, um, he reacts, doesn't he? So he's reacted yeah. to my lives a few times and stuff oh, like right, that, yeah. and I've seen like clips. He does like stuff like that, and obviously if I'm playing in the Sidemen game, that shot him even more. Yeah. Hmm. Where do you see yourself in like five years' time then? Like five years' time, you'll be 26, 27, are you 22 this year? 22 this year, yeah. well, yeah. the end to like December. Yeah, so you'll be 26, mid-20s, late-20s. What do you what do you want to be? Hopefully established on YouTube. Yeah. Um, because that's where you can earn more money. Right. TikTok money is not the best. You want angry ginger money? Yeah, I want like literally. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, probably like hopefully. Do you video game? Uh, yeah, I, play, I did a bit of Twitch streaming a couple of years ago. Mm. Um, I did a little bit, and I think I got up to about thirty k on Twitch. It was pretty mm. decent to be honest. Oh. I literally earned a decent amount off there as well on top of. Like it was next Why did you stop? Um, probably because I was getting like doing loads of things, and I tried to do like five days a week, like three hour streams a night, and it was just hard. And then do my live after, mm. it was just tiring. Yeah. Um, so I just I don't know. I still play the odd time and that, but again now, obviously I took a bit of a break, but now I'm back mm. traveling here, there, and everywhere. So I'm, yeah, like here now. Yeah, people. literally. Um, so I'm hardly at home, so I haven't really. I probably wouldn't really have the time anymore. <laughs> is, that, is that a rose? Yes, yeah, roses. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. That's that's good. That is, I like that. You can keep that. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you. So each, each like of that. my paintings has like um, uh, some meaning to it. I don't know you, but I'm not going to tell you. You have to kind of guess what it means. It's up to you, I guess. Um, <laughs> is it to do with like cheers to the roses there, possibly? Well, that's a simple meaning, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. it's not hard to explain, really. It's just you with roses yeah. in, a, in a kind of religious pose. Because we went, we went deep into religion yeah. a little bit, I suppose. But you don't believe in religion. Not really. So no. it's kind of weird. <laughs> but, you know, maybe you could be a religious messiah figure in the future. Who knows? <laughs> You're supposed to say no, but who knows? You never know. Probably not. Though. Do you think you could like build your own cult? Build my own cult? Well, this is the image you could use. <laughs> yes, that's the image. Yeah. This is my new cult, the Luke Bennett cult. Oh dear. <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, I do. I, I like it. I, you, like, what are you going to do with it? I'll put it up somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> it, might go and, it might make a feature in one of my 1030 lives. I don't know, possibly. There we go. That'd be great. Yeah. People will click that. They'll find yeah. it funny. I might go, so, cheers, yeah. cheers to the roses there, the odd time, and just <laughs> show the thing. So yeah, that's the painting. Um, thanks for coming, I guess. And um, any like last messages? I don't I just know. want to thank you for obviously inviting me down. Uh, yeah. 
Do you want to like fuck the haters or something? Or? Oh yeah, fuck the haters and that, you yeah. know. Um, anyone who obviously does or wants to get into social media, you know, just try it because if you don't try it, you never know where it could go. Mm. Um, and all these haters, they're just jealous of you. That's all they are. They're just jealous because you're doing something with your life and they're not. Good point. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice one.